Hello everyone, thank you for checking out this video. You are with Coach Chen Yu from Terry Chu Academy. Right now, we are going to solve this question together. So let's take a look at the question first. It says there's a six digit number, 739 ABC. That number is divisible by three, four, and five. We want to find the smallest possible six digit number that fulfills this criteria. So just in case you're confused by what the line on top of the thing means, it just means that 739 ABC is a six digit number. Now let's quickly discuss, what does it mean for a number to be divisible by three, four, and five? It means if you take that number and you divide it by three, four, or five, it will leave a remainder of zero. That's pretty much it. So in math, right, we have these things called divisibility rules, where there are special rules where you can test if a specific big number can be divided by a small number. So from 1 to 12, each of these numbers have a unique divisibility rule. So since we're interested in 3, 4, and 5, let's talk about them. For 3, the divisibility rule is sum of all numbers is divisible by 3. So that's the divisibility rule of 3. For 4, the divisibility rule is last two numbers divisible by 4. So I'm going to use div for divisible, it's a short form, by 4. And divisibility rule of 5, last number. So the very last number is 0 or 5. So, if we look at these three divisibility rules, let's rank them from the easiest to find out to the hardest. So, number 1 being the easiest, number 3 being the hardest. If you can see, right, the divisibility rule of 5 would probably be number 1, since we're only concerned with one number. Divisibility rule of 4 would be number 2, since we're concerned with two numbers, and Divisibility rule of 3, that's the hardest one, because we are concerned with all numbers. So what we're going to do is, we're going to check the divisibility rule of 5 first. So my last number, that's C, right? C has to be either a 0 or 5. However, if we think about the divisibility rule of 4 now, it says the last two numbers must be divisible by 4. And let's think, can any number ending with 5 ever be divisible by 4? No, right? Therefore, there's only one possible answer for C, and that's 0. We can't have this. I'm going to reject this number right here. So I can safely conclude that C will be equal to 0. And to make our lives a bit easier, I'm going to change the C in the question now to a 0 for ease of reference. So now let's check the divisibility of 4 because that's the next easiest one to do. Essentially what it's saying is B0, this number right here, is divisible by 4. So let's think, what numbers can B possibly be? B can be equals to 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. Basically any even number. So now the question is, how do we know what B is? Well, to be fair, we don't really know yet. However, let's look at the question. The question says find the smallest value possible of this six digit number, right? So if we want the number to be as small as possible, it's more likely that the larger B digits, let's say these three, these would be unlikely. We won't cancel them out yet but we can say that they are unlikely to be those numbers. Finally, let's look at the divisibility of 3. So what we do, we add everything together. Plus 9, plus A, plus B, plus 0. This will give me 19, plus A, plus B. This right here, this entire thing, 19 plus A plus B must be 
divisible by 3. So let's think, what is the next smallest number after 19 that's divisible by 3? Remember, we want to keep our number as small as possible, right? Which means 19 plus a plus b. To keep it as small as possible, this has to be equal to 21. Which means a plus b must be equal to 2. So now we have two options, right? It's either a equals to 2, b equals to 0, or b equals to 2, a equals to 0. Since b can't be 1, right? So b can only either be 0 or 2. So these are our two options. So we are narrowing down our options here. Let's go back to the question one final time. If we want the number to be as small as possible, should we have a equals to 0 or b equals to 0? Shouldn't be too hard, right? We should have a equals to 0. Because if we compare these two numbers, let's say 739020 versus 739200, which one's smaller? Obviously, the first one. Therefore, because the question asks us to find the smallest possible number, we only have one possibility. And this number right here will be my answer. We have now completed this lesson. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. Goodbye and see you again in another lesson. If you would like to learn more from these tutorials, please smash that like and subscribe button. Thank you.